In this video, we're going to look at some concrete examples of reference angles, or sometimes referred to as reference numbers, especially when you're measuring in, in radians. So let's look at this first uh, example here from the homework. Here's my XY coordinate system. I'm interested in looking at a T value or an angle of 2 pi divided by 3, 2 pi divided by 3 radians. <clears throat> now, if I divided pi radians, that would be half a circle, okay, into three parts. Then let me just kind of sketch in about what that'd be. So this would be 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So pi over 3 radians is 60 degrees. And so 2 pi over 3 radians is 120 degrees. So there's my terminal side out there. <laughs> Sorry, that's pretty clumsy drawing. Okay. So, so there's my, my terminal side. That's T right there is equal to 2 pi over 3. Uh, possibly I can just say that this is sitting right here. So there, there's that, that angle, 2 pi over 3 radians. The reference angle, see the idea is that we could pick any terminal side and any point on this terminal side and build a right triangle by dropping that to the, uh, to the x-axis. So this right here is what's called the reference angle. And so in this first case, we're worried about <coughs> the, the reference angle, T bar, is going to be pi over 3. Okay, let's, let's look at the next one. If we looked at 3 pi over 4, okay, so there's my xy coordinate system. Pi over, f pi over 2 is a half, so pi over 4 is 45 degrees. If I've got uh, 3 pi over 4, that's 1, 2, 3 pi over 4. So this is going off in, in this direction. That angle right there is the 3 pi over 4. The reference angle, grab another color just for emphasis. The reference angle, you pick any terminal point here, drop a... The reference angle is this one right here, and that's going to be pi over 4. Let's look at another one, a negative 2 pi over 3. Okay, so now we're going in the negative direction. 2 pi over 3 would be 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3 would be around in here somewhere. Okay, you take any terminal point, drop it to the x-axis, so we've got this right angle, this is the reference angle, the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis, the smallest positive angle between the terminal side and the, and the x-axis. So that's going to be a pi over 3. Okay, you're starting to get the idea? The reference angle, no matter where you're at, Maybe it comes around here and wraps around to here somewhere. There's my terminal side. You just think about a point on that terminal side. Drop the line to the x-axis. So now we've got this right triangle. Then what is this angle right here? That's what the reference angle is. The reference angle is always the smallest possible angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. Okay, I hope that helps.